Chicago is one of the most diverse cities in the country. One of the things that makes the city so diverse is the people. How they express themselves in different ways by different mediums throughout time. Chicago native Mashawn Hendricks is a creative that proves the diversity of the city. As the founder and CEO of Trap House Chicago, a streetwear brand located on the city's south side that has a message that's deeper than meets the eye. So the idea was like Trap House Chicago. Um, at the time, it was teens reaching all potential. All right? And as it grew through like application, it switched to truth reaching all people. All right? So that, that's where it came from. The motivation really is the same motivation that I had when I was working in communities or, or training teachers or training schools personnel or training police officers, which has always has been reducing the number of suspensions, expulsions, and in-school arrests, reducing the number of arrests in communities, um, reducing the number of people going back to jail. All right, it's the same focus. Hendrick's message and mission have a lot in common with the artist Charles White. During Chicago's Renaissance movement of the 1930s and 40s, an artist named Charles White emerged. White was a mural and easel painter from Chicago's South Side. His work interpreted African-American history, culture, and lives. What connects artists like Hendrix and White is more than where they come from. Both are activists that use their talents to unite their community and create awareness. What I've learned is working with the people that are closest to the issues, working with the people who oftentimes people say are causing the issues, they know how to address them. All right? It's just the other people that don't live in the neighborhoods or may used to live in the neighborhoods or, or don't understand the issues in the neighborhood, those are the ones who are usually getting the fat salaries and, and they're treating the issue, not really healing the issue. They're not going through it. That's the foundation that I stand on at all times. Uh, social awareness, social justice, um, not just social issues, but also really building um, like solution-based streetwear, right? Not just um, printing what represents the streets on a surface level, it's going beneath the surface. Yeah, that's, that's my whole model. Um, the slogan is we all eat. And we not just, I'm not just saying it just to be saying it. It ain't printed just to be printed. You know, it's my goal to employ. I'm not about to wait until I make a, a certain amount of money to begin employing. I'm employing at the moment right now. So it is a, from the beginning, a part of our, our, our structure. Oh man, my name Chuck. A lot of people call me Chuck at Trap House. I'm a store manager. I mean, Trap, man, it's dope. Got dope clothes, man. It's all got a meaning. It's all supposed to have an impact and a positive impact on the world, getting young people more in tune with what's happening out here in this world and how to make a change. Charles White used his gift to create social change, forming a union with other black artists for equal rights. Mashawn Hendricks and Trap House Chicago are proof of White's influence. 